The history of the Pomeranian is fascinating as they're descended from large sled dog breeds that once roamed the earth. They have a short, foxy face and are compact in size, and they're capable of competing in agility or obedience events or simply being a family pet. If you need to prevent your pampered Pom from getting away with a devious plan, they will be interrupted and your pet will get a sense of accomplishment. These lessons are perfect if you want to bond with your Pom because they're all about collaboration. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Now, let's get into the video to learn about the Pomeranian training method. Crate training. A crate and playpen. Let your Pomeranian know that she'll have a safe place to go if, if you're not at home, so she won't interrupt you or scare your guests. Set the size and location of your pup's new crate so it can be as comfortable as possible. Leave the door open. Show your dog a favorite treat, preferably something he likes, and use that item to lead him all the way into his crate. Praise the dog once he has gone to the back of it. Place your dog's food bowl inside the open door of their crate. Ensure it is far enough back that your dog has to enter their crate and reach their food bowl. Do this for several days with the open door, then begin closing the door. When he's finished, open the door and lead him outside. Start putting your dog in the crate while doing something else around the house, like paying the phone bill, cooking dinner, or washing dishes. Ensure that he has a toy to play with and he's not bored or lonely. Potty training. Before bringing your dog home, you should decide on a specific area of the house where to place a toilet station. The location should be convenient and easy to use for yourself and your dog. You'll want to regularly take your dog to the potty spot so that good habits can be reinforced. The options are to place a patch in the yard, a litter box, or a door tray. The best option would be to use an indoor and outdoor litter box because these require less cleaning and can stop puddles from accumulating on the ground. Repeatedly taking your dog to the same place and using a cue word like potty will eventually housebreak them. Walking your dog in circles until they reach the spot will let your Pomeranian understand what you want from him. Don't forget to praise your dog whenever they use their litter box and after they utilize the bathroom outside. Keeping your dog in sight can help you train him to eliminate in the right places. In particular, Pomeranians are prone to stopping outside, so watch out for signs that they might have urinated or defecated in parts of the house you don't want them to. Leash training. If you try to put on a collar or harness and go for a walk right away, your puppy may resist. They might refuse to move an inch. Before trying that walk, you'll need to wait until they're fully accustomed to the leash and collar. First, let your dog get into their harness or collar by wearing them around the house. Then, try taking them on a walk with the leash while they're on their own. Do this for short periods and have fun. Give your puppy treats and affection to show them that wearing the harness and leash will be a pleasurable experience. If you have a dog that continues to pull while on a walk on a leash, teach him a cue for some other verbal signal to prevent him from doing so. Once your dog has learned to respond to your cue, take them for a walk. Your puppy may be overwhelmed by all the sights and smells. If your dog sees another animal and gets excited or barks, give them a signal until they stop the unwanted behavior. Once they stop, reward them with praise or some food. This will help keep behavior in check as you go on more and more walks. Make sure you give your dog treats intermittently instead of every time so they can get used to the idea. Some dogs refuse to walk on a leash without some effort. It might be due to fear or anxiety of the noises or sights they encounter, and you may need to address this before you get them comfortable with a leash. Call them back and give them treats 
as you walk to keep your dog focused on you instead of the scenery. Give them a sit command when they do something right. Praise them, then move on to training. Obedient training. To help you train your new puppy, we can point out which stages the dog goes through and what you should do with them. We'll cover this for three to 12 months, after which you should start training an adult dog. Learning basic obedience commands from a young age, such as sitting, standing, or lying down, and not pulling on the leash can make training your puppy easier. From three to six months old, dogs can learn basic commands like walking beside you or pulling on their leash. In the first stage, the objective is to give simple and uniform commands, which do not involve multiple tasks. If you make orders too complex, we might confuse the puppy and frustrate it. At this age, your Pomeranian puppy will be ready to start learning to do its business outside and socializing. When your Pom has learned basic commands, you will be surprised by their intelligence and readiness for more advanced training. Now, upon taking the time, you can engage to activities that help your dog think? Prod your already advanced sense organs and refine their already advanced smell ability, such as playing dead, jumping on platforms, etc. You can practice the intelligent games with your pet, take them for walks in a new environment, travel together, and teach your pet tricks. The Pomeranian bites a lot with its teeth, so you should provide the appropriate toys to relieve its pain and offer some frozen treats to numb the gums. Socialization training. Socialization is key to your Pomeranian's well-being. It will teach them how to relate positively to people, other dogs, and even other animals. They'll learn not to be scared and reduce the fears of those around them so they can enjoy a whole social life and feel comfortable in any situation. The best time to start socializing your toy Pomeranian is when they're three weeks old or younger. When dogs are in the social play phase, they will be more flexible and will demonstrate sharing behaviors with other individuals. You will need to wait until the first vaccination and deworming schedules are completed because disease transmission is always a concern when interacting with other animals. If you adopt an adult Pomeranian, it's never too late. It's possible to socialize on adult dogs and encourage healthy behavior. Stopping Pomeranian puppy biting and growling. Say no loudly and firmly, physically moving into a more authoritative position. For example, if you're sitting on the sofa, move him to the floor. Or if you're sitting on the ground and he insists on sitting with you, stand up or sit in a chair. If you want your dog to stop barking, then make sure nobody can talk to him. If they don't leave the room, he'll go to somebody else and continue to bark until someone lets him play with them. Ensure the entire house stays quiet so your dog doesn't think you're talking to him. After five minutes, turn to him and talk, but not touch or pick him up. Wait one minute and then move back to the position you were in when he nipped you. If he doesn't nip you, then get a little excited. Pet him and praise him. Don't act happy, but be yourself. If he nips again at any time, reposition yourself, and the household must revert to banning. You would usually undergo this process four or five times before your dog associates nipping with banishment. If he persists and continuously bites at your ankles, you should place him in a designated house area for a timeout. How to stop your Pomeranian from whining. If your Pomeranian dog endlessly barks, whining will likely be the problem. Some people think it's funny and prefer dogs to whine while being watched, but others get annoyed by it. There are ways to train your dog to stop whining. The information may give you good things, such as better relationship with your dog. Instead of punishing and yelling at your palm for whining, you should look objectively at how you should proceed from a baby's perspective. Remember that as an owner, your responsibilities are to make all animals feel safe and secure. If your Pomeranian seems anxious, scared, or stressed, Take time to figure out the reason why. Many different causes of anxiety and phobias can befall these types of dogs. A crucial step in solving this issue is to know the cause and work on training, and desensitize your dog to avoid future episodes. The most common behavioral problem with pets are whining and jumping. The best way to manage whining is by training, mental stimulation, and exercise, Getting a professional trainer or dog behaviorist can help when other methods prove ineffective. It may not be possible to entirely eliminate your pet's whining habits, 
but at least you can make it less frequent and less bothersome for you. Some dog owners believe small breeds, like Pomeranian, require no training. That's a huge mistake. It doesn't matter what shape and size a dog is. They all act similarly. Additionally, training a Pomeranian can be pretty tricky. They can also get injured when they fight with someone bigger than them in the dog park, so they will require extensive training to reach their full potential. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for staying with us.